All right, we're going to talk today about collisions in two dimensions and how you handle that. So let's look at this. Um, if This is Newton's second law, but it's just saying that um, the net force in the x direction is equal to um, the rate at which the momentum changes in the x direction. You, you could get from here to F net equals MA pretty quickly by just making um, the P equal to MV and then pulling the M out and then you got M times DV DT which is, which is um, ex mass times acceleration. All right, well, um, notice that if the net force is zero in the X direction, then, then the momentum will be conserved in the X direction. But if, and if the F net is zero in the Y direction, then the momentum should be conserved in the Y direction as well. So a lot of times we'll break it into X and Y directions and make sure that it's conserved in both directions. Like any vector quantity, you can break it into X and Y directions and handle them separately. Okay, so let's see um, an example of this. Um, here comes a blob of clay going this way in the x direction at 3 meters per second. It's 2 kilograms. Another blob of clay is 1 kilogram and it's moving at 2 meters per second. They're going to collide. Let's say they stick together and give you this big blob of clay. Just, just this big blob of clay and it's going to head out, say, that way. And we want to know um, what this velocity is going to be. Let's say we want to know what that velocity is going to be. Okay, well, um, we can look at these in separate directions. So I'm going to say the, since there's no net force in the, y, in the x direction, the momentum in the x direction before equals the momentum in the x direction after. So um, let's see. The momentum in the x direction of this one at first is 2 kilograms times 3 meters per second plus the momentum of this in the x direction originally which is um, 1 kilogram now how much of this 2 meters per second is in the x direction none of it that equals now the blob has a total mass of 3 kilograms and as far as its velocity in the x direction is concerned, we'll just call that vx. So what we have here is 6 kilograms meters per second is equal to 3 kilograms vx. Prime, really, vx prime. Okay, by the way, if you're wondering what vx prime is, if I break this vector into an x and a y, let's call that prime. This is vx prime, and this is vy prime. Okay, so... Um, if this is 6 and that's 3, I'm thinking that Vx prime is 2 meters per second. Okay, let's do the exact same thing in the um, y direction now. So in the y direction, um, I'm going to say that the momentum in the y direction before equals the momentum in the y direction after. That's because the net force in the y direction is equal to 0. And so, uh, let's see, the momentum of this 2 kilogram one is 2 kilograms. And how much of its velocity is in the y direction? None of it. Plus um, 1 kilogram. And all its momentum is in the, all its velocity is in the y direction, so 2 meters per second. That's equal to, ran out of space here, bring it down over here. That's equal to... Um, now it's one big blob, so 3 kilograms, times um, Vy prime. Okay, so I'm thinking that um, if I solve for Vy prime, that's going to be 2 thirds meters per second. Positive. So what we have here then is um, the x direction. I'm going to draw the y the the um, I'm going to draw the velocity. It's uh, two meters per second in this direction, and two thirds meters per second in this direction. So to get that, then we would use the Pythagorean theorem, and I won't do that. But you'd use the Pythagorean theorem to get that. And you could also get the direction by using tangent of theta or 
uh, whatever your favorite trigonometric function is. Okay, that's another. That's uh, one example. Let me give you another example. Um, if this time we have um, this cart rolling along, and we drop a bag of, of sand in it, and let's say the sand is um, two kilograms and the cart is four kilograms, it's moving at three meters per second in the x direction. Uh, let's say that this is falling in right before it hits. The velocity of the sand is um, this way at um, one meter per second. Okay, well, here's the thing. Uh, when this hits, if the, our system is the sandbag and the cart, when this hits, the floor is going to push up on that system. And so the net force in the y direction does not equal zero. Therefore, the momentum in the y direction, did I say the net force in the y direction does not equal zero? Because the, the floor is pushing up on this thing. Uh, so then the, the momentum in the y direction before will not equal the momentum in the y direction after. But that shouldn't stop us from analyzing the x direction. In the x direction, there is no net force. Sure, the sand pushes on the cart, and the cart pushes on the sandbag, but those are internal forces if that's our, if that's our system. And so I can say um, the momentum in the x direction before equals the momentum in the x direction after. Okay, well that's going to be doing the numbers. That's going to be 4 kilograms times 3 meters per second plus the sandbag, which is um, 2 kilograms. Now, it doesn't have a velocity in the x direction. That will equal, now they are kind of one system when they, when they collide and, and stick together. So that's 6 kilograms times V prime in the x direction. So let's see, that's 12 kilograms meters per second divided by 6 kilograms. So V in the x direction is going to be 2 meters per second. Hey, um, one quick thing about this. The sandbag then, once it collides, it gains 2 meters per second in the x direction. That's because the force of friction accelerated it. So there was a force, a, a force on this sandbag in the x direction accelerating it. And um, the cart actually slowed down. See, it was going 3 meters per second. Now it's going 2 meters per second. And it slowed down again because of friction. So the cart, the cart is heading this way. And when the sandbag hits, the sandbag hits, the cart gets slowed down and the sandbag gets sped up. Here's the sandbag, here's the cart. And so the cart is going to get slowed down. This guy is going to get slowed down. And this guy is going to get sped up. All right. One last point I would like to make. If I have time, here's a, a puck that's moving along at two meters per second. It's two kilograms. It's gonna, this one is zero. It's just staying there right now, just waiting to get hit. And when they do hit, this guy is gonna careen off this way, and this one will careen off that way. And, um, I probably made these vectors too large. In fact, I certainly did. But I want you to know something. That the momentum before is 4 kilograms meters per second. So you know what the momentum of both of these have to be afterwards? If I add up, um, say, this momentum. And this guy's momentum afterwards. Both of these have to add up to 4 in the x direction. Now in the y, do you see how it has no momentum in the y direction? There's no momentum in the y direction. So that means that the momentum that it has in the y direction afterwards must equal 0. And lo and behold, the, this guy will equal that guy in terms of momentum. Alright, thanks.